Only 8 hours and 47 minutes separated two launches of the Falcon 9 rockets, which set off on their missions from opposite coasts of USA. SpaceX thus has a total of 12 orbital launches in 2023. The first of two launches occurred on February 17 at 1912 Universal Time. The Falcon 9 took off from the SLC-4E launch pad at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. This launch pad is usually shrouded in fog, but this time the weather was beautiful. And lift off of Starlink. Group 2-5, go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicles in the range. Falcon 9 carried a total of 51 Starlink communication satellites as part of the Starlink 2-5 mission. The first stage of the rocket was used for the ninth time, and this time it also landed smoothly on the sea platform called, Of Course I Still Love You. Stage 1 landing like deploy. Now let's move forward in time by about eight and a half hours and by five and a half thousand kilometers to the east. On February 18th, at 3.59 Universal Time, another Falcon 9 lifted off, this time from Florida's launch pad number 40. One, engines full power, and lift off of Falcon 9 and Inmarsat. Go Falcon, go Inmarsat. The first stage flew on its third mission and landed on the sea platform called Just Read the Instructions. The rocket didn't land exactly in the middle, but that doesn't matter at all. The platform is large enough to tolerate such a small deviation. Just read the instructions. And as you can see in here... The rocket's second stage reached the orbit with its first ignition and extended its trajectory into an ellipse with its second ignition. 32 minutes after launch, the cargo was separated. It was the Inmarsat 6F2 communication satellite, weighing roughly 5.5 tons. It is only equipped with an ion propulsion, which is efficient, but only provides a small thrust. Thus, the satellite's journey to geostationary orbit will take about half a year. It will then provide communication services primarily over oceans and remote areas. Its services will be used not only by ordinary people, but also by armed forces or rescuers. Thank you for watching today's episode of Space Flight News. A look at the statistics showed us that almost 94% of viewers of our channel are not subscribed. So, if you don't want to miss any more episodes of our show, don't hesitate to subscribe.